Hello, welcome to EPA Region 9. This is a tour of a restored watershed, and today we will briefly tour the Nutrioso Creek watershed in eastern Arizona. One of EPA's goals through the Clean Water Act Section 319 Nonpoint Source Pollution Program is to restore polluted watersheds by implementing best management practices identified in the state's TMDL or watershed plan. The Nutrioso Creek watershed is shown as the bright yellow line where every drop of water that lands within the boundaries of the watershed line will flow into Nutrioso Creek. Nutrioso Creek was listed on Arizona's impaired water body list in 1998 for not meeting state water quality standards for turbidity. This list is also referred to as the Clean Water Act Section 303D list. Field investigations found that historic grazing and forestry practices had contributed to a loss of riparian habitat and stream entrenchment. Once the creek was listed on Arizona's impaired water body list, an implementation plan was written as part of the TMDL in 2000. A total maximum daily load, or TMDL, is a calculation of the maximum amount of a pollutant that a water body can receive and still safely meet water quality standards. Typically, a TMDL has an implementation plan, which identifies management measures to reduce nonpoint source pollution. This plan outlined a variety of best management practices that could be implemented in the watershed to improve water quality in Nutrioso Creek. Jim Crosswhite owns property on a three-mile section of the creek, also known as EC Bar Ranch, and over a number of years has received 319 funding to implement BMPs and improve range management strategies. In addition, the U.S. Forest Service also manages land within the watershed and has done implementation work using 319 funds. Following Arizona Department of Environmental Quality's TMDL implementation plan, Jim Crosswhite implemented many of the BMPs suggested in the plan using 319 funds. Upon completion of implementing projects, the landowner has placed a conservation easement on the entire three-mile section restored with 319 funds, therefore protecting a portion of the creek's riparian area in perpetuity. To ensure wildlife stewardship, Mr. Crosswhite entered into a cooperative stewardship agreement with Arizona Game and Fish Department. The Natural Resource Conservation Service has developed a conservation plan for Nutriosa Creek and provides ongoing assistance. Matching funds were acquired through U.S. Department of Agriculture's Environmental Quality Incentive Program, EQIP, and the Stewardship Incentive Program, SIP. As a result of the work done in the watershed, the local native fish, the Little Colorado Spindace, has shown population improvement above Nelson Reservoir. Additional improvements in riparian habitat will benefit the southwest willow flycatcher as well, which is a federally listed endangered species. In 2009, Nutriosa Creek was removed from the state's impaired water body list. This is an example of federal, state, and a local landowner successfully implementing the Nonpoint Source Pollution Program to clean up an impaired water body.